This week, two more home insurance companies left the state of California, adding to the list of insurers backing out because of the state's rising risk of climate disasters, amongst other things. Many of the companies still writing policies in California are raising their prices and premiums. On Tuesday, the California Department of Insurance held a workshop on something called catastrophe modeling. That process uses AI and other technologies to predict the risk of catastrophic wildfires and set some premiums as a result. Insurance industry expert and agent Carl Sussman testified at that workshop, and there he is right there joining us now to tell us more about what the insurance agency and industry is facing. Carl, thanks so much for being back in ITI with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, this testimony and this workshop up there for the Department of Insurance is so interesting because you and I spoke about catastrophe modeling last time you were here. Could you just describe it for the folks at home and describe a bit about what you heard up at that workshop? Sure. I, I think the, the most important thing for people to understand is that catastrophe modeling is, is nothing new. It's just something we're hearing about now. It's something that's been utilized across the world for years. It's something that's utilized in insurance underwriting and rating in literally every state except for California. And so we're hearing about it as something new. And at its core, what catastrophe modeling does is it enables insurance carriers and consumers to work more granularly to find out what their exact risk looks like. It's not just looking at the data of what's happened in the past, it's looking at what the consumers are doing to their homes today to make them potentially safer from wildfire, for example. So these are highly sophisticated computer models that utilize tons of data from the past and incorporating future modeling for what they're, what they're seeing right now that's coming down the line. Yeah, and there's a concern and there's criticism of this in part because of this, what people feel might be a lack of transparency around this black box where this computer algorithm is spitting out this number and people just don't get that penetration to understand why. Could you tell us more about some of the critiques of what catastrophe modeling might bring to California? Absolutely, I'm so glad you brought that up because that's one of the biggest misconceptions. This is how it works. So the model does what it does. And mind you, every insurance carrier has its own models, right? It has its own secret sauce. And the information that comes out of it is completely disclosed to the California Department of Insurance. This is sort of the way I describe it. It would be like if you're, if you're making a hamburger, you have to disclose to everybody that yes, there's two beef patties, there's cheese, there's a bun. But you're not going to get into the specifics like, well, what exactly are you seasoning the beef with? And where did you get the lettuce from? And what temperature do you keep the buns? But those details, that level of detail, is disclosed to the Department of Insurance and the Insurance Commissioner. So there's nothing that's actually being done in secret. There are just certain specific details, their secret sauce, I guess, by the analogy, that the insurance carriers are only going to be required to disclose to the Insurance Commissioner versus directly to their competition. I, I love the burger analogy, and I love that yeah. you have some of the counter arguments here because it's interesting. I mean, consumer watchdog amongst those groups, I'm sure you heard from them up there, their critiques of all this. I'll, I'll throw an O in your way, and maybe you could sure. give us a sense. They're looking at other jurisdictions where catastrophe modeling exists. As you said, it's nothing new. They look at Florida. They say, hey, premiums there, rates there, two to three times more expensive than anywhere else, and that insurers are leaving that state. So, what about Florida's model would not be necessarily what we see in California in terms of the we those weaknesses? It's funny that you bring up Florida because I actually spoke at the hearing directly after Consumer Watchdog and they were talking about how we should be more like Florida. And the mm -hmm. first thing out of my mouth was, well, that's the first time I've ever heard anything out of Consumer Watchdog that's saying anybody would want to be like Florida, let alone California. The, the best example of what this type of computer modeling, this catastrophe modeling is, has to do with the uh, flood insurance. Now, flood insurance and earthquake insurance in California has been using catastrophe modeling for years. The difference is with flood insurance, there's just one. There's a national flood insurance program. So you can't look at that and compare it and say, well, the rates have gone up. Well, yes, in areas that are a higher risk for flood. They've gone down in areas that are at a lower risk for flood. So what happens when you get more exact and more precise, you're going to inevitably have people that are going to be paying more and people that are paying less. And what this type of modeling is going to do is it's going to take things and make it a little less homogenous. We're not going to have the same price for people that are living in the hills or in the canyons compared to the people that are living in the middle of the city. There, there are homes that might be 30, 40, 50 miles away from a fire station up a snake road that uh, you know a motorcycle can barely make it on, let alone a fire truck. Those people are going to have to pay higher premiums than they have in the past because they're no longer going to be able to be subsidized by people that mm -hmm. are in the flats that are paying lower rates.
Hey, Carl, we just got a minute left. Uh, there's so much more to talk to you about this, but just in our final moment, if you could just talk to us about the status of catastrophe modeling then as coming out of this workshop, uh, how soon we see it implemented, and what it means for insurance in California and what the state of the industry is there. Sure. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to see all of these regulations for the Insurance Commissioner's Sustainable Insurance Strategy in effect and out there, in essence, before the end of the year. Their goal is to be able to let the insurance carriers actually submit their new underwriting and their new product rates before the end of the year. So by the first of the year, they'll be able to start reviewing and hopefully approving them and letting the carriers back into the market. Yeah, it's so interesting. As we just mentioned at the top, uh, you know, two more insurers leaving California. Hopefully, this lures them back and creates a more sustainable insurance industry in California. Because tell you, it's it's tough enough trying to get a home, and for these people who can't get these new policies or people whose policies are being canceled, it's just a really difficult and unimaginable situation. Carl Sussman, thanks so much for uh, breaking it all down for us, and hope you the next time you have a burger, you don't think about insurance. You deserve <laughs> there that. you go. Thanks, Amrit. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carl. Until next time. Okay, That's Carl Sussman. All right.